Hey guys, what's up? My name is Grant Borland, and today I want to take a look at my five favorite piano book libraries, or at least the five favorites that I've been using recently. Piano Book is like an online community where like composers and sound designers can share their sample libraries and their signature sounds, found sounds, basically anything they sample. There's a lot of like pianos, string instruments, there's tons of categories, just this community of composers will upload their sounds to share with the world. And all these libraries are free. So in today's video, I kinda wanna go ahead and share my top five favorites that I've been using recently. You know, there's so many in there, and I think this is kind of the, the thing that makes this video unique because, you know, my top five favorites are probably gonna be completely different from your top five favorites. And there's just so much content and so many sounds and samples on this website right now, and it, it's growing. I don't know, it's just a very, very cool community to to kind of be a part of. I just want to go ahead and I want to dive into my top five favorites. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so the first one I have here is uh, a library called Bedroom Sounds. And I'll be sure to go ahead and link everything down in the description afterwards too. So if you guys don't want to spend, you know, hours scrolling through trying to find all this stuff, you can just quickly go ahead and follow the links if you want to get these sounds too. But uh, the first one is called Bedroom Drums. And it's a pretty, pretty simple, straightforward uh, contact library. Basically, Basically all these different knobs here are just volume controls for each piece of the kit. So you know you've got kick drum, snare drum, hi-hats, crash cymbals, a ride, and a tom. And you can kind of go ahead and balance those sounds out, or the volumes of those sounds out to your liking. And this is kind of what it sounds like out of the box. Forgive my finger drumming, but I'm um, just doing this on the fly. It's a pretty standard, basic drum set. I mean, the samples sound good. I feel like they're usable. You got your kick, you got your snare, you got the snare doing kind of like a flam thing. Another snare. So you can go back and forth. Tom, hi-hat, Tom, another hi-hat. The ride. There you go bedroom drums. And like I said, these are all free too, so go and download this if you need some new uh, fresh drum sounds. Moving on, the next one I have is called the Box Violin Swells. It comes in two patches. You got the Swells and the Swell Sustains. I'm just going to open up the Swell Sustains to start with. I believe Dave Hillowitz made this uh, sample library, which he does a lot of cool stuff. I follow him on YouTube and a lot of useful videos on there from making sample libraries down to like some contact scripting tutorials, things like that. So very, very knowledgeable. And he also has his own sampler too, which I have yet to try. I've been kind of just using his contact libraries, but he's built his own sampler engine, you know? So kind of like a contact if you don't know what sampler engines are, but basically it's the software that will house you know, third-party sample libraries. But this is his box violin, which is cool. I feel like, you know, watching his YouTube videos, he's just a really creative guy. You know, he makes his own instruments and box violin is something he, he made himself too, just from scratch. So really unique, really unique sounds to him. And it's just really cool that he's kind of put this out onto the piano book community for you to download. But this is kind of what it sounds like. Let's do the swells. I 
I sound. I, I like swells. I feel like I use that a lot in my music. There's that like the Olafur Arnold's Chamber Evolutions. They have swells as well. They're like they call them waves, you know. But it's kind of like that, just crescendo, you know. Builds in sound and then just kind of tails off. Really nice to kind of layer underneath things, you know. Uh, gives it a little bit, I don't know, makes things sound a little richer in my opinion. Moving on, let's uh, check out this piano. This is called Nova. Very simple interface. You know, you open it up and it's just a three band EQ, you know, low, mid, and high. But it sounds great. Really simple, you know, three band EQ. Bring in the lows, mids, highs. There you go, that's Nova. Next one. Next one is called Spanky Loops. It's like a modular drum glitchy loops and patterns. I, you know, I've been really into this type of thing lately. There's not much to the interface. It's standard, it's basically just the samples thrown into context, so there's no control of it. What you get is, you know, what you hear is what you get. But I've really been into these types of sounds lately, uh, just these modular loops and rhythms. I feel like they're really cool to like layer underneath things. Sometimes you want like an electronic edge to a track. I, I don't know, I kind of view them like pulses a little bit. Sometimes I'll filter them in and out, and it's really unique. So this is kind of what it sounds like. You got the fast spankies and the slow spankies which are pretty similar just different different tempos essentially that's the fast let's listen to the slow There you go, the uh, Spanky Loops Volume 1. Um, the last one I want to cover is called the King's Upright. This one was made by Dan Keen, who is another composer and YouTuber that I like to watch. And this one's really cool too. I mean, really simple control. There's just one knob and it's the, the pad blend, which you can control with the mod wheel too, that makes it move. So, you know, you're going to have just the piano sound when it's turned all the way off, and then when you put it up, you're going to have the piano sound, but you're going to have like a, a pad underneath that. So if you hold it, you know. You know, you hear that, you hear that pad underneath it. So let me just play around on it. I'll show you kind of what it sounds like. It's kind of like another um, felt piano kind of sound. I don't know if he used felt, but it's very soft, so I wouldn't be surprised if he did. So that's kind of what it sounds like. There you go. 
that uh, that's the king's upright. Okay guys, that's uh, that's it. That's my list right now. That's what I've been using in my music a lot. Really like these and I kind of wanted to share you know, my top five favorites at the moment. If you, if, you know, if you use Piano Book and you have some libraries that you like a lot too, leave, uh, leave a comment down below letting me know what you like or what I should pick up. There's a lot of different um, sample libraries out there and most of them I haven't even listened to so it'd be kind of cool to kind of have some back and forth in the comments about what's cool on that website. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.